very much for being here. And uh, my first question is, what was it? Uh, what was it like knowing that hey, you're going to be pretty much the first live action representation of well, at least Hot Girl on a TV series? In a long time? What was that like? Cool. I was I was, I was game for it. That's really cool. Um, I think a lot of people ask me like, was there so much pressure to like get it right? And I'm, <laughs> I don't really feel that pressure. Um, I mean, sometimes I do. Cause people are like, don't mess it up. Don't mess it up. And I definitely want to, you know, uh, do it justice. But I also think that. The version that we're doing is a conglomeration of a lot of different storylines and a lot of different. Um, I mean, she's technically the new 52 version, but we're using the ancient Egyptian um, backstory. So, you know, uh, I think this is a new version that we get to play with. And she's also um, a little bit blindsided by it, you know, which I think maybe Kendra was a little bit, except that she was Shara's. Like, so I got jumped into her, I don't even know. So it's confusing, there's a lot of different things going on. But since we are melding a lot of different storylines, I think that I, I felt pretty free to just be like, okay, this is my version, this is our version, this is what we're doing. Did you have any reservations when you started out? Or you were like, it's all in, I want to do this, let's rock it out? Um, I mean, I was I was nervous to do a TV show since I've never done one before. <laughs> um, and not like as a series regular. But I think other than that, I was really excited. I've always really liked Justice League and all the cartoons and, and everything like that. So this is, I was like, this is great. I'm glad to be a part of this community. So right now you're like stuck in the 50s. Yes. What's been your favorite era to kind of play in so far? Oh, it's hard. Um, I thought the 50s was fun and also interesting because it was really relevant. I feel like a lot of the social stuff is so we're cycling back around, which unfortunately. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I also think... Um, I love the look of the Western and I love horseback riding and I mean because we got to do a lot of it. We got to train a lot and that's I used to work on a farm so that's like that for me was like being home so it's really nice. So what do you think is her role? Because she's got some of she has a few roles on the show, but what do you think is her like most important role? The, you know, the reason that she needs to be on the team. Uh, uh, well it would seem that the, the reason she's there is because she's the only one that can so <laughs> they kind of need her for that. <laughs> yeah, um, but I think as she starts to step into her own and, and really understand what it means to be a superhero for her and, and to protect people and to help people and the fact that she has, she sort of has the ability to change time in the world and you know that's kind of what they're trying to do and change her own destiny. Um, I think that she'll start to fall into exactly what her purpose is for this team. Yeah, because the only reason I ask is it seems like she does some, to some she's a mother, to some she's a friend, to some she's a potential mate. So, so there's like three, like a lot of different aspects to her role, I've noticed. Well, and I think that that is important because she's lived for 4,000 years, so I'm assuming that in some of the lifetimes she was a mother, and some of the lifetimes she was, you know, a career woman, and some of the lifetimes she was this or that, I, I think she's met so many people and had so many different relationships that when she starts to really remember that stuff, that kind of wisdom and knowledge about how to interact with human beings is going to be helpful in all these different kinds of relationships. And how has um, Kendra's relationship with, like her very recent relationship with Ray, changed how you look at playing her character? Because obviously up until this point, her, her mind has at least been focused on Connor more than anything else. And how do you think, how do you see that going forward? That um, you know, I'm. I don't know that she jumped into the relationship for all the right reasons. I mean, obviously, Ray is gorgeous and he's <laughs> smart and he's uh huh and he's positive and he's confident and brave. I mean, there's a million wonderful things about Ray. Um, so he's not a bad catch at all. But I, I also think that the way that he was kind of like, oh, I, I didn't really think about it either, and yeah. I don't know that she was thinking about it either. It just kind of happened, and I also think that she has been a loner kind of her whole life, and she feels a bit alone and isolated on this team, specifically because Hawkman died, and also because she has 4,000 years of experience, and she's the only one that can kill Savage. So it kind of puts her in this weird alone space, and I think she desperately wants to attach to someone or something outside of herself. Um, so I think that's a big reason why they ended up starting this thing. So we'll have to see how that pans out later down the line. After two years in the past with Sarah and Ray, is anything that going to change? I think two years is a lot of time for things to change, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so you're on a show with so many other great characters. Yeah. If you could play a different character on Legends, who would you play? Oh, one that's already there? Yeah. 
cats and holes. <laughs> yeah. so anyway, I, guess the I don't think that I would do it as well, but I think <laughs> well, it'd probably, think probably be killer frost, but same concept. Oh yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah. <laughs> And how is it like working with um, the Flash and uh, the Arrow guys? Because you're probably one of the few people in that's well, done oh, all of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, it's great. It's also very different. Everyone is so different, and every set has a different feel. Um, I feel like Legends really is like kind of both of the sets of Arrow and Flash coming together. You know, both of the shows kind of melding drama and comedy. Um, I really love working on Flash. Everyone there is really so sweet and accommodating and fun to work, especially Carlos. He just... <laughs> say, Cisco. Oh my gosh, he's an improv master and it's so fun. He would just throw lines at me and I'm like, oh, I have to come up with something else to say, okay. <laughs> it's really fun, yeah. Thanks, everybody.